Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> it's cold today. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is going into, you know, 50 plus degrees a day and then dropping back down. Ah, oh, it's doing me in. I'm freezing, so I have the sweater on. Because there's like a part of me that I love the sweater, but I don't like things around my neck. I know that sounds weird. I don't know. So, let's see. What I'm having, it's like now that Christmas is over with, ah, I'm having such a nice, relaxing time. I really like it. Ah, went out and had coffee this morning. Have to go back out. We need to go back out. <laughs> need drugs. <laughs> I am going to try to get some mail together that I need to mail. And uh, I don't know if I can do it. I'm going to go get drugs first. And I need to go to Safeway and just get, I need mail, bread, <sighs> breakfast drink. I don't need meat. I got lots of meat. I had a bunch of chicken, so now I have a bunch of beef from that Omaha steak gig. Oh, I've been playing with the likes. I've been having a good time. She plays lots of games, like Jeopardy and 20 Questions and reads, you know, the, the headlines to me. I really like this. I really like it. She's in the other room. It was so funny because I was talking to Michelle and Michelle said, call her Kelly because she was just constantly chattering in the background. I love it. So anyway, going on with my list, let us not forget Susan W. I love Susan W. Absolutely love Susan W. I mean, one of the things I think, I mean, David is so cool, her husband. I mean, it, you know, I just love her. And I think one of the things about her that I know is like really cool is she will say the next line, I won't. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> is that being raised in an abused household, which I'm not saying for sympathy or anything, because I'm fine with it. I mean, as a matter of fact, my mother was the greatest role model for how not to raise children. So if I was ever faced with a question concerning the raising of my children, I would just think, what would my mom do? And I would do 180. <laughs> So needless to say, I do not believe in corporal punishment in any way, shape, or form. But that's me. But like, like this happened to me, like, I think it was like in November, I was having coffee, and I called them the sign, I hope you hear over the furnace. Um, I have this energy efficient furnace, so there are actually two fans in it. <laughs> so, you know, they, it's energy efficient, but they tend to, everybody tends to complain about them having, making too much noise. But anyway, I call, I was listening or in a conversation, but there's always that, what I call the scientific American expert. They read an article in Scientific America and then they become the expert on it. And it was something about physics. And, you know, my late boyfriend, <laughs> who was a physician turned physicist, <laughs> I, you know, I took physics like everybody else, but I mean, after hanging with him for so long, I'm like, I know a few things about physics. <laughs> But I know I had also read the same article, apparently, the guy had. So I went to say something more, and I stopped. Because I pick and choose my battles. Not that, you know, 
I'm like shy. But I won't say the next time. Uh, unless it's something I'm very passionate about, like civil rights or rights of people with disabilities. I'll go to the wall then. But I know Susan, she'll say the next line. <laughs> Susan, I love you. I, I wish you'd vlog. I would love to see more about your life. I mean, I just love everything about you. So, and I want to say, hi, Colleen. Colleen Miss Cavalier, a one. I believe it's a one. It was sad to see her. She lost her husband. And it still tears me up. But, um, she's kind of starting to get back into vlogging. But she's got like so many interesting past vlogs that I would highly suggest you check her out if you don't know her. But, yeah, you're in my thoughts and prayers a lot, Colleen. Now, this may be good news or bad news. So, Julie gave me this thing. And I'm not going to tell you because I'm going to actually write the company and try to do a giveaway of this item. But anyway, I got one of those wish bracelets. So, I put it on and I wish for a boyfriend. Now, this was last night I decided... Because I'm really have, like, I've had it for a week, maybe. But I ha I just didn't know what to wish for. I mean, I think I have a really excellent life. So I decided, well, it's time for me to have maybe a permanent boyfriend. Now, there are some candidates, but apparently not the ones I want. Or I wouldn't be making a wish for a boyfriend. So, I put it on, and I tied it really good. I did three, three or four knots. And I don't know what this means. It was gone this morning. <laughs> so, it's either I'm going to get a boyfriend, or you make plans, God laughs at you. <laughs> you know? Or it's like the universe saying, yeah, sure, whatever. No. So, I don't know what that means. Well, we have to get to Rite Aid because I, I really do need drugs. Uh, I need to pick up the stuff I put in my nebulizer. And yes, I have a nebulizer for, um, I don't remember who, who asked, but yes, I do. But I need the stuff and it's ready. Uh, whenever it snows or rains, I tend to use it a couple times a day for a few days. And right now we have snow melting and um, I'm allergic to mold, so it tends to just throw mold crazy into the house or into the ambient reality around me. <laughs> so we need to go. Bah. Well, I did it. I got them. I gotta wash my sunglasses. So, anyway, so back. <laughs> so. There are two women I want to mention. They're really just sweet women. One is Marcy, and she goes by Marcy and some numbers. I don't know. Marcy, I just love you. I really do. And there's Jeannie, lead me to peace. She is just so, so sweet. Um, They just kind of like both are feel good to me. So, yeah. Thank you for making me feel good. Hi. So we're at safe already. If you really want to treat yourself, get this. The Tickle Belly Vanilla Bean Cake. It is so good. I really like it. So we only need a couple things. So let's go. So, see, like I said, breakfast drink, bread. Some pizza, some roast beef, um, two of these, one 
a Salisbury steak and one fried chicken. I thought I'd try that. Some ice cream bars. Some jambalaya rice for this sausage I have. The cake. And mayo, the most important thing. Let me put this away and then I need to wrap Amanda's presents and get a couple other things ready to mail. And we're going to go mail them. Yeah, because it's only 2.30. It's 2.43. Okay, dog. Be back. So, I got given a ticket for one free wish, which I have made. And now I'm going to send it to Amanda and I enclose, this is your one free wish. Wish big and pass the ticket on, sign the card, and may all our wishes come true. I think it'd be nice to turn it into a, like a little chain letter. So I have just put the ticket in there. I have wished. I don't know, if, I don't think you're supposed to tell people, so I can't tell you. So I have to, I have to wrap. Huh, I did it. Four packages. It's two dish racks, two dish towels, I mean, two uh, pot holders, and two dish towels and pajama bottoms. And one free wish. So let's go to FedEx and see how much I want. If I, I got that $10 bag once. And so. I'm mailing that and I'm taking an example of something else I need to mail. Okay. <sighs> I seem to be out of breath. <coughs> yeah. uh, it's just the... I need to do a nebulizer treatment, but not for two hours. Well, an hour. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's see if I can get this done. I did it. I did it. I mailed Amanda's package. I don't know. She, she'll either be really happy or scream at me because she told me not to mail it for a while till I got rested up. But I am like, <laughs> mentally, I am like so happy. <laughs> and I got something else mailed. So that made me happy. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, God. I had to, it, I had, bef it, I, it's been like several, like a couple hours since last time we spoke. <laughs> I decided to do an nebulizer treatment so I can breathe better. <sighs> Make coffee. I got this, Jules gave this to me. Um, it like keeps coffee like hot forever I guess I don't know but it really came in handy sewing because I like could drink some and then shut it off and it uh, you know I wasn't drinking cold coffee I was out new coffee so I think that's it for me <laughs> I'm just going to sit and zone out for a minute think about whether I I, might, I need to eat a little something I'm invited believe it or not to two parties one tonight, one tomorrow. They had both, how can I say this? Okay, I'd gotten an email invite to the one tomorrow. And then I got another one from an, a friend that is still in the same circle. And um, I said, no can do. I can't, It's see, it's kind of like against the rules, whoever goes dubs on that night gets it and so she changed it to tonight so I have to go tonight and tomorrow <laughs> which I will be glad to go I mean I could use some camaraderie even if I'm tired exhausted whatever you know it's just time to kick my heels up a little so, as always, I love you guys. Everybody, take care. And I'll see you next time.